Oh, hey guys, how are you doing? Just a quick one. So, um, we are going to get the Gladiator stance, I believe, which is engraved on the boots, which should be freaking awesome because I really want to try Gladiator stance because it's really, you know, one of the big things that warriors are going to get. And I think it's going to revolutionize tanking. Anyway, um, let's do this. So, as you guys can see, I've just come to Tenaris. I've just got off the flight path and I'm in Gadget Scan. Um, and we've just got in the middle, and there's this guy here called Fuzzbiz Mithril. Um, oh god, I've got to find someone in a Shara. Oh gosh, really? Okay. Okay, the quest is in um, a Shara, so I'm going to actually run there. Never been to a Shara before, so I'm just literally running north of Ogrimmar. If you don't know, we get into a Shara by going to the north. Um, northeast of Ashamel. And just running across the bridge. Awesome. Okay, guys. Um, I'm currently, um, I've just run down the path and I've noticed there's these two banners here. So, um, I think I need to go up here and find a cave, I think. Let's go have a little looky look. Oh, dude, I found a dude in a cave. Ooh, I like his shoulder thing. Retrieve his blade from a blue drake roaming around southeast of um, Forlorn Ridge in the Shara. Okay. And you might notice, guys, the funny thing is, like, Questy hasn't been updated yet, so I've got no idea where this stuff is, apart from, like, strategy guides and stuff. Oh, a word of warning, though. Um, apparently, for this quest... Uh, you're not allowed to be in a group. So if you're in a group, the mob might, you know, kind of do something bad or whatever. <laughs> so, um, don't be in a group. Also, you don't have to run this way either. It's just, uh, I just love running up things, whatever. Um, that being said, um, you can have someone help you, but just make sure that you're not in a group and you pull first to... Uh, grab the fret. Um, should be around here somewhere. Should be like a flying blue dragon. Uh, oh, what's that? Cellulose. What's the name of a dragon again? Dude, Cellu Cellulose is actually the dragon I'm looking for. OMG. Let's see if we can kill it. It should be difficult, I think. You're not going to die, Mr. Dragon, today. Face the thunder of the... F whatever I am. Oh, God. Why am I messing up so bad? Oh, we definitely get some health potions for this guy. Come on, cellulose. Ooh. That's cool. Okay, so we killed um killed the dragon. Let's go hand in back to where we were before. So um I'm gonna hand in apparently this guy gives a cool sword as well. But I couldn't figure out what, what kind of sword it is. So um Oh, back to Tenaris, then. Magic teleport. Okay, let's have a little look at this uh, Yo. sword and rune. Ooh. What does it do? Attack up to four enemies within eight yards, causing weapon damage to each enemy. Resets for cooldown of your whirlwind ability. Two minute cooldown. Dude, that's really nice, actually. Hurry back. Yeah, what do you want? Time is money, friend. Uh-oh. I didn't know there was a fight coming. Oh, gosh. Yeah, what do you want? Yo. 
here. What's going on here? Time is money, Dread. Hmm, interesting. Sorry, mate, it's not going to be a piece of cake. Hmm. Dude, it's wandering swordsman. Greetings. <laughs> with you. What can I do for you? Well met. This is kind of fun, actually. Bit of an RP event. Let's just build up some rage, shall we? something I'm kind of busy kind of beat him well bad oh you know it just occurred to me that I've never actually got my new abilities as a warrior so I haven't actually had any new abilities in 10 levels <laughs> is that what happens when you level in a day you just completely forget dude I'm gonna be so much more powerful when I get my new le levels of my new abilities <laughs> yeah I literally um, did all my leveling in one day so I started at 41 this morning and uh, I did a video about it so that's pretty good Time is money, Dren. but you can eat between contests by the way okay Dude, sweet. Let's look at what we got. Oh, dude, let's compare these. Okay. So my old weapon was an axe. Um, this is Biss Phase 2, by the way. My new weapon is obviously a sword. But the ability is pretty cool on it. Attacks up to four enemies within eight yards. Causing women weapon damage to each enemy. Reset the cooldown of your whirlwind. So... That's really, really nice. Um, I'm going to stick with my axe, though, for the moment, because it's a lower level, but it's slightly more powerful with the weapon damage and a slower swing, but... Yeah, pretty freaking cool, anyway. Let's have a little look at our new... Oh, dude. This goes on the feet. I have to say, Rallying Cry and Intervene are pretty... I hardly ever use them, so this is actually pretty freaking cool. Look! No way! Dude, this is freaking awesome! Oh, dude. That's awesome. Anyway, guys, I will leave the video there. Um, if you don't know, new Gladiator Stance basically increases damage um, with a shield by 10% and increases block chance by 10% which means you're gonna basically much be much better at blocking but also reduces your armor by 30% and threat generated by 10% so um, I would kind of say that if you are like a prop tank or you know you're more of a tanky boy then this new stance is um, your equivalent of going DPS um, but yeah, I'm going to have to test it out because I think there's some really interesting stuff going on here. Um, but anyway, guys, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed and uh, speak to you later.